Hi, it's Peter Downs here. Um, I'm going to show you inside WordPress MemberChamp settings and how to set up WordPress MemberChamp um, to create a really cool um, membership site within your blog. I'm not going to show you in this video how to upload a plugin because that's all this is really. It's a, a plugin that you upload the usual way and activate the usual way. Uh, inside the MemberChamp settings, which appears as a tab down the left hand side here, WordPress member champ you see in here. Here I'm inside the WordPress member champ settings. Um, I've entered my registration key which you are given um, as soon as you sign up for WordPress member champ. You're giving a registration key so I've entered that here. You must have your product name inside here. Now all these icons here are buttons, information buttons to help you guide through this if you get a problem. But it is really really straightforward. I mean really very very easy. Um, Here's your PayPal email where people are going to make payments to. These are the important ones coming up now. The billing option. Is it a one-time purchase? Is it a recurring subscription? Which is the whole point of this really. Or a free membership here. Obviously free membership. There's going to be no payments. Recurring subscription is what I'm going to have for this site here. The PayPal button image is supplied for you. You can upload your own image as well of course, but the uh, PayPal uh, button image um, is included once you um, upload uh, the plugin itself. I'm going to use Australian dollars, but of course you can use Canadian, US dollars, Euros, Japanese yen or pound sterling. I'm going to use Australian dollars. Uh, the product price, um, you can put in um, how much a person is going to pay as a recurring price. I'm going to put $4.95 for the purpose, but you can put whatever you want in here as the recurring price that people will pay. Now they're going to pay for this particular one by month but you could select days, weeks or years as well but my particular one is going to be for months and they're going to be billed once per month, per month there. Number of payments that is for the term of payment so you could put in three so that would go for three months in here. I'm going to leave it at zero because that would go for unlimited so it will continue until somebody cancels. Offer a subscription trial no or yes I'm going to offer a subscription trial for this um, particular uh, membership and I'm going to go for a one dollar trial and I'm going to go for a trial period of 30 days and you see how easy that was. So you could put any trial price you want in there. You could put a uh, number of days, say 14 days or 7 days. You could put a week, a month or years. How many years trial? <laughs> um, anyway, that's um, how that works. So the trial price is $1 for 30 days. Fantastic. Your order sign up page. Now this is where your uh, join and your payment button image will go and your text to get people to sign up. So I've already created that page which I'll show you in another video. I've already created that page and it's called the join page. Brilliant huh? The join page. That's your landing page where people actually um, sign sign up. Uh, default member page after login. So you can set up a default member page after the login which is where people go to once they have logged in. This is the page your members will be automatically redirected to after they log in. This can be any page post you choose. Now for my particular uh, one here, um, I'm just going to send them to the uh, home page. So I'm not really going to use the login very much because I'm going to set up other pages that I send to people once they subscribe. But of course with this plugin you can protect content and have it sent to whichever page you want to for the content um, that you're going to put on here and have that protected for non-members. Um, uh, protected for non-members but um, members can actually see those pages so that's the page you would send them to. Uh, protect all new pages and posts by default and you go that's do you want to protect if you set this option to yes then all new pages and posts you create from now on will be protected. Please note that posts that are created before the plugin was installed and this option was enabled will not be changed to a protected status. Of course you can do that later on but I'm going to say no for my purposes here but you might want to say yes to protect all your new pages of content. 
Now this is the very very cool bit here in terms of the autoresponder list. Here I'm going to add in my Aweber, but you can also add in get response and Imnica mail and also the white labels to um, autoresponders to Aweber, which is a whole number of those as well. But Aweber is the main one here. This is where you insert your list email list address, which is simply the name, which in this case would be Inclusion Club there, the name of the list that I have set up in Aweber at aweber.com. What that will do is really cool, and is that when people sign up, they'll pass the um, PayPal email address given straight into your Aweber list. Very good, nice indeed. No need to go through any other page or anything. It goes straight into your list that you set up within Aweber or other autoresponder. So you're adding to your list straight away. This is fantastic. Uh, and this button at the end here, that's simply if people are uns unsubscribe from your autoresponder on a refund or a cancellation, do you want to keep them uh, uh, on another list to subscribe to another list? If you do, you enter that list in here to subscribe them to a, a different list. If not, keep them on the same list here, then you just simply click no. For the purposes of this, I'll keep them on this uh, list even after they uh, refund or cancel, but you may want to set up a page where they, that they, uh, another list that they go to, um, because they have cancelled and they shouldn't be receiving that content anymore. Um, so, but uh, for the moment, I'll leave it on no, and that is for the moment it. I'm going to update the settings there, and that is configured for a membership site. Now, in the next video, I'll show you. Um, how to set up your join page, which is very, very simple indeed. We're simply going to insert that that uh, payment button into a, a page that we set up for joining into. And um, that's not much else to it, really. That's how they set up the... Uh, uh, I'll also show you how that uh, actually works through PayPal as well. So that will be in the next video. hope you found this useful, and um, thanks for watching.